Hi guys, I just wanted to share um, another testimony um, about something that happened to me about 13 years ago. It was absolutely incredible. I was eight and a half months pregnant. I was married at the time and my husband at the time wasn't working. I was heavily pregnant, so I couldn't work. We were in a real financial, a tight spot financially. And I remember praying for bedroom carpet simply because the, the bedroom uh, for the baby, there was no carpet in it and it was really cold and it was getting close to having the baby now and we really needed some finances. So I remember praying. I wasn't going to tell anybody because I was quite embarrassed about the fact that we weren't financially very there. Um, and my husband, I didn't want him to look like he was a poor provider. So I kept very quiet. I didn't share it with my family. So it's me and the four walls and I'm praying. Week one goes by, nothing. Week two goes by, nothing. By the time it gets to around about four weeks uh, before I'm going to have my baby, I'm getting quite desperate now and I'm asking the Lord, Lord, we really need some provision. Every time my husband's money would come in from the government, it would always go on the car or something else that seemed to be necessary at the time. So now four weeks left to having my baby, um, I'm continuing to pray and I'm in my living room. And as I glance up, I notice a gentleman just walking past my living room and I could see his image through the neck curtain. And he seemed to be acting quite strange. <laughs> So I sat back down and ignored it, got back up and noticed he kept looking over at my house and he kept walking back and forth to my gate. So I watched him for a while and then he disappeared again. I glanced up at the window again and I see my son coming in from school. He comes in through the door, we say hello, I sit back down and I notice this figure and he's walking back to my front door now. So I get up to see what he wants, thinking that this gentleman might be a little bit not all there. And he comes to the door and he starts walking away. And I'm quite, I'm a bit concerned. So I tap the window, bear in mind I'm quite heavily pregnant now. I tap the window and I remember the gentleman stopping dead in his tracks. And his back to me, he had his back to me. And he stopped dead in his tracks as if to say, I acknowledge you, I hear you but I'm not going to turn around. So I tap the window again to say, turn around and look at me, who are you? Coming to my door, knocking the door. He stops again and he walks out, shuts the gate and I never get to see the gentleman's face. As I go to the door, wondering what on earth this man was doing at my door, has he posted anything through the door? I look and to my amazement, I see 130 pounds in cash. So, of course, I've run up to my husband at the time to say, look, there's 130 pounds of cash. There's a gentleman acting really strange. He's just posted it through the door. We need to go and tell him, you know, to take it back. Maybe he's not all there. And I remember the words of my husband, who was um, at the time my husband, ex-husband now. He said, what have you been praying for? And I said, I've been praying for carpet for the bedroom. He says, do you think this could be an answer to prayer? And I'm like, well, it could be, because we're waiting on finances, and every time we want to carpet the bedroom, the finances are not there. So I just believed it as a miracle. So what did I do? I picked up the phone to my mom. And in my mind, I'm thinking, why did that gentleman not turn back? Why did he not show me his face? And this thought, this strong thought, echoed in my mind, well, that could be an angel. So I pick up the phone and I phone my mom. Bear in mind I was too proud to tell my parents, tell my mom anything, because I didn't want to A, be concerned and B, think that my husband was a poor provider, not a good provider. So I, I told my mom, I says, Mom, you're never gonna guess what's just happened. I've had 130 pounds posted through my letterbox. And these are her own words. She said to me, she said, Daughter, she goes, that's an angel that posted that money through your letter box. And I thought, do you know, I thought that. And I thought, maybe it could be an angel. 
put the phone down to her after saying our goodbyes, picked up the phone, called my sister. Now my sister is very spiritually mature and she's, um, what, she's in the, she moves in the prophetic as well. So I often used to pray with her and I phoned my sister and I said to her, sis, you're not going to believe what's just happened. I've just come off the phone to mom and this is what's happened. I've had 130 pounds posted through my door. And she said, you know, I've got a feeling that that could have been an angel, that God sent you an angel. How profound, how amazing is that? That's the, the echo that was going through my mind. So my mum said the same thing and so did my sister. Neither of them knew anything about what I'd uh, been praying for. So just a word of encouragement to you. Um, God provides. He really does provide supernaturally. Nobody else knew. So... Let's cut a long story short. I go to go and buy my carpet. I tell the gentleman what it is I wanted. I chose a carpet that wasn't an expensive carpet. And in my mind, I'd already thought up, well, if it's not enough money, I'll put in the extra. So we needed underlay, we needed gripper, and we needed carpet. It was a, quite a fairly small room. After he got his calculator, started tapping away, and he said, that will be 130 pounds. I was absolutely amazed and I had to laugh because I thought, wow, God knew that I needed exactly £130. He provided what I needed and to the T. So I just want to encourage you out there. If, there's, if you're in financial difficulty right now, I'm not going to say an angel's going to come to your door. It's just something that I experienced and I'm sharing that with you. But God works in mysterious ways, in amazing, unique ways. And he doesn't always do the same thing that, you know, he's done before. So I'm just going to encourage you and just say, you know what? God can provide for you supernaturally. Believe him to do that. Pray for him to do that. I've been there in dire situation like that, heavily pregnant, really needed carpet, and God came through for me. So I just want to encourage you to know that don't give up. God will provide for you too. God bless you. Have a good day.